Hello and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we'll draw this model from StatCAD CAM site. We'll draw this model as a way to practice drawing in FreeCAD using Power Design Workbench and SketchUp Workbench. So if you want this drawing here, you can download it on the site here or in my GrabCAD site. If you like the content I have been producing, please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel, you can do so accessing Koi-Fi site. Link to this page can be found on the description of this video. Thank you. And what we do in the start page here, here we create a new document and here we select hard design workbench and create a new body and a new sketch. For this sketch here, we'll select XY plane. Okay, and in the sketch here, what we'll draw is will be a sketch for this part here. So we come back to this sketch, and now here we go to sketch geometries, and we select this tool here, and now click in this origin point and draw this sketch in this way. And now here we we have to set the questions of this sketch here. So let's go to this ring page and in here we can see these dimensions here. So first we'll set this angle constraint here, 17 degrees. So we select this constraint here and now this horizontal line and now this line here. And as you can see, we are getting this problem here. So we cancel this and now click in this icon to have this construction geometry here. And now select this polyline tool and draw this horizontal line. And now this line in this way. And now we set equal constraints here to these two lines. And now we can set the angle here. So we select these two lines and we set 17 degrees. Okay. So now it's okay. And now we can set a link for this line here. We can set 25 millimeters and now we hide these constraints here of these two lines and now we, we select this parallel constraint and we make these two lines here parallel okay and next here we can set the dimension of this line here and this vertical dimension here so for this line here we have 50 and we have this vertical dimension here so for this line here, we select this constraint here and we set 50. Okay, and now we select this vertical distance tool and now these two points. And we set 55. Okay, and now we leave this sketch here. Press home and now select pad tool. And the length of this pad here, we can see here is 10 millimeters. So here we set 10 and we set symmetric to plane and now click OK. And now here we have to create this pocket here. To create this pocket we have to select this face here. We select this face and we create a new sketch. And again here we'll draw two lines. Okay, we draw this line here and next this line. And these two lines here will be uh, construction lines, okay? And next we set the angle constraint here, 17 degrees. And we set equal constraints for these two lines. And we set a length of maybe 45 for these two lines. And now we hide this, the constraints of these lines here. And next here we can see this sketch here. So we have to draw two lines and this arc here. But first here we select this external jump tool and we extract this edge here. And now we can select this line tool and draw these two lines. Okay, and next here we'll draw the arc. So we select this arc tool, click in this point in this line here and now draw this arc okay and now we have to set parallel constraint for these three lines so first here we select these three lines ok 
okay and now we're clicking this constraint here so now these three lines is parallel okay and next here we have to set a submerge constraint for these lines here these three lines okay so first here we select this this tool here and we create a point here and now we just select this merge constraint and now these two points and now this point here okay and next here we'll set the dimension of this sketch here so we go to this ring page and we can see this dimension we have 20 here this horizontal distance here and we have 12.5 here so here we'll select this constraint here and we select this point and now this point here and we set 12.5 millimeters and now we select this horizontal distance tool and now these two points here and we'll set the length of 20 okay and now we have one degree of freedom so we have to constrain the edge of this arc here so we select this constraint here and now this arc and here we have we have a range of 15 so we set 15 and now we'll leave this sketch because this sketch is full constrained okay and now we go to the pocket tool and we set sorry here we have to close this sketch here okay so here we we'll select this we can select this arc tool here and now connect these two points here okay and now close this sketch and go to the pocket tool and here we change it up to draw goal and as you can see we get this pocket here and now click ok and next here we'll create a sketch we'll create this part here so here we'll create a new sketch in xy plane and in this sketch here we'll draw a rectangle so we switch to section view and now here we select this centered rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle and next here we'll set these dimensions here so for this center point here to the end point of this rectangle we have 224 so we select this constraint here horizontal constraint and now this point here and this end point and you said 224 okay and now we have to set the length of this line here so here we see 20 we set 20 here and now we have one degree of freedom so we can set the distance of these two points here to full constraint this sketch here so here we can set 10 and now leave this sketch here and go to the pet tool and if we press some, we can see the sketch, this part here. So here we have to set some vertical plane, and the length here we have to change to six millimeters. Okay, and now here we create a new sketch in XY plane again. So we select this top plane here. Okay, and now switch to section view, and what we'll draw here will be will be this cycle here, this cycle for this part here. So here we select this cycle tool and now the we click in this horizontal line here and we set the diameter of the cycle to here we see the three millimeters. Okay and now we extract this edge here and we just select this constraint here and we make these two points vertical and now leave the sketch and select this pad tool and now set submerge to plane and the length of this pad operation here will be 10 so here we set ok and next here what we'll do is to here we'll create this pocket here so we select this face here and we create a new sketch in this face and now we extract this edge here and next we select this tool here we select this tool here and click in the center point and now draw this and now we set this line here 
to horizontal we we'll constrain this one here and now we'll set this vertical dimension here 25 so we select this vertical distance tool and now these two points and here we'll set 25 okay and now leave the sketch and create this pocket here we set we change the tab to show goal and okay and we select this this face again and we create a new sketch and again we extract this edge here okay and we select this tool again and now click in the center point and we draw this and now here we make this line vertical okay and here we'll set this horizontal dimension here so we select this tool and now these two points and we set 25 and now we leave this sketch here and we create a pocket we set we set the tab to draw goal and okay and now as you can see we have now we have this pocket here so what you'll do next is this fillet operations here a range of 20 for this fillet here and this dimension here to this fillet here so first here we'll select this edge and go to the fillet tool and we change this value here to this okay and now we click in this add button and we add this edge here and set OK and now we have this fillet here and next here we OK we select this edge and go to the fillet tool and we change the red here to this dimension here 20 and click on this add button to add this edge here and now click OK and as you can see now we have this fillets here and next here we have we have this fillet here with a range of one so here we select this edge and we go to the fillet tool and the range here is one millimeter so we click on this add button and we add this edge and this edge here and this edge okay and next these edges okay and these two edges and now we set okay and we get this input error so the way here is to delete these four edges here so we select these four edges and delete okay and set okay and next here as you can see we have to do these pockets here so we here we select this face here and we create a new sketch and here we select this rounded rectangle tool and here we draw this rectangle and next we set smart constraints here between these center points and this horizontal line here and as you can see here we have we have a height of 10.85 so we select this tool here and now this point and this point and we set 10.85 millimeters okay and here we have this distance here we have this distance here between this center point and this end point here 27.1 millimeters so okay here first we, we extract this edge here to get this center point okay and okay first here let's set the edge of this arc here so here we select this constraint here and now this arc and we set a edge of three okay and now we select this horizontal distance tool and now this point and now this center point and we set 27.1 okay and now select this end point here 
and this endpoint and we set 106.5 Okay, and leave the sketch. And now we create a pocket with a length of two millimeters. Okay, and next we select this face here, and we create this sketch. And here again we select this rounded rectangle tool, and we draw this rectangle. Okay, and we set cement constraint here. Okay, and now we set the height of this rectangle to 10 millimeters. Okay, and now we have to set the edge of this arc here. So we select this constraint here. And for this arc here, we'll set a edge of 3 millimeters. Okay, and here we see this distance here, 1 millimeters. So what you'll do here is to press home, okay, and now select, select this tool here and extract this edge here, okay, and now we, we come back to the bottom view, and now we can see this edge here, so we drag this point here, and now we select these two points, and here we set a distance of 1 millimeters. Okay, and now we select this end point, and now this end point, and here we'll set a length of 157. Okay, and now we'll leave this sketch here, and we'll create a, another pocket with a length of 2 millimeters. And okay, so now we have these two pockets. And now let's try to make a fillet in this edge here. So we select this edge and we go to the fillet tool. And as you can see, nothing is happening here. So let's try to change this fillet here to 0 0.5. And okay, nothing. Okay, let's set 0 0.1 and nothing. So we cancel this. And let this part in this way. So as you can see, we finished the design of this model here. So thank you for watching this video. If you, if you like this video, please leave a like. Okay, thank you for watching.